Hello there, in today's episode we are going to be talking about distance blend in landscape materials. So if you pay close attention to the material in the landscape, the tiles are uh, repetitive in this area, but you can't really see the repetition in these areas. It's just because um, the texture coordinate is just different in distance. So if I go a little bit further, you can see that the tiles are getting far and far um, bigger and bigger and bigger as we go further and further away. So how we can do that? It's called uh, when you go into the just select your landscape. I mean, I'm using an instance. Select the instance. Select the parent. Um, we have a node called distance on the line blend. So if you type in distance blend, you have the distance blend for mask. Uh, and then right click, promote to a parameter, and then it's it's going to be called blend range. And uh, just do the same for start offset, and you'll have blend range and start offset, which both are um, scalar, scalar parameters. So what is this one? So if you, we, we just go ahead and uh, connect this one to the base color, you can see what I'm talking about. So it's like the black areas are going to be normally tiled and the white areas are going to be like a little bit bigger just because they are far away. And we've specified blend range and start offset. <clears throat> if we go into the instance, And change a blend range. For example, if we set it to something like eight thousand, it's gonna be um, combining a little bit better than this one. The start offset, though, I found it that the minus thousand units is gonna be working like the best. You can go ahead and use two thousand, but it's just too much for me. So eight thousand for blend range, start offset minus a thousand. It's going to work really good. Um, so now that we have what we want, we just need to use it in our textures. To do so, we have like, for example, in my landscape la layer for base color, I have three layers, mod, grass, and rubble. This is my uh, mod texture. I can just, uh, and this is, grass and this is rubble yeah uh, and I can just control C control V and these will be the textures that are going to be used in the uh, far tile textures so to do that we are going to uh, use a texture coordinate hold M on your keyboard Right click on this one, promote to a variable, and the variable is going to be called, I don't know, far tiling or something like that. I already have it in here, so I don't really want to um, create a new parameter for this one. I've called it far size. And the default value is 0.5. And then you are going to be using this on the UVs. And then after this, I'm um, going to be just uh, control C, control V from the landscape layer blend. If you don't know how to do that, landscape layer blend, this is the landscape layer blend. And, and you have to uh, add your layers from here. So I've called it grass and then the next one would be rubble and so on and so forth. And then we can just connect them all together and then hold L on your keyboard. Okay, so the further one would be the B. As I've connected it here, this is the LERP we're using. We're coming in here. This is the LERP we're using. This is the further one. This is what we've just set. Uh, it comes to the B and then this one comes to A and then the distance blend we have 
comes to alpha and then if you haven't watched the previous video it was about the micro variations i'd suggest you go ahead and watch that uh, it's just a two minute video it's not long so you can easily go ahead and watch it um, and then instead of using the layer blend to the multiply we have with the micro variation we can use the layer which we already did and then hook this one up to the base color you uh, if you're using base color and normal map and ambient occlusion and everything you should be doing uh, this for every layer that you have so for example we have the base color we did it we have the normal map mod grass rubble and we have to just go ahead and again select them and control C control V and do the same um, steps do the same process for them all over again so texture coordinate multiply scalar parameter just connect them uh, and then just copy and paste the layer blend come in here hold L on your keyboard lerp use the distance uh, blend on your alpha the A will be um, the base textures and B will be the far tiled textures and then this one goes to the normal or whatever you're using um, and for the far size though you have the option to change it in, in the instance as well so if you're not satisfied with it you can just um, this is like if you pay close attention here to this area if you do like 0.001 Oh, it's just too much. Zero one, you can see that this area is really big, whereas this area is like normal. And when you go further and further away, it just gets blended with the new tile texture. But I believe this is too much. So I'd say something like 0.1 would be really good. Yeah. or maybe this one should be 500 this one should be 4000 so we can have bigger textures uh, closer to the camera yeah that looks really good okay so this was it this was how you can use the note distance blend in your landscape materials. I hope it was helpful and if it was please hit that like button and um, have a great day. Bye.